Hi and happy Christmas. Uh, we thought we'd just do a little video of steam trains running in the shed layout. Um, we're also testing to see what the sound's like on this one. Uh, and Doug's bought me a new self-centred computer gizmo gimbal thingy. So hopefully we're going to get a lot smoother picture now when I'm doing pan filming. So we've got the um, new Hornby 060 here, the latest railroad one. That's becoming a better and better loco as it gets running. And then up here, which you haven't seen a great deal, this is the raised area. We're beginning to think about how we're going to build the village. So up there we've got the wonderful terrier just quietly pulling around a couple of coaches. And then a Lima 262 with some Mark 1s. And we'll come around and show you a bit more of those in a minute. So it's quite good this thing. It means we don't get too much camera shake. And you get a bit better panning. So it does work very well there around the back scene. Which works quite well. Doug's just dropped something. Uh, Doug's down here saying as well. Say happy Christmas, Doug. Uh, Merry Christmas. Um, he's put this bit of kit which we're practicing with. So I hope you've all had a good Christmas. Hope you've had some railway stuff. That's my Christmas present. That's uh, Doug's Christmas present, which is a brand new state of the art soldering iron, uh, which he wants for his many and varied electrical projects, as he's getting into his electronics now. I think it's possible that he'll end up doing electronics as a degree. Um, so yeah, it's a bit odd this, trying to get the angles right, but that does show you the terrier rather nicely. And let's see if we can get down here. It's a very strange thing this. But it does give you some great shots. That's the fabulous Lima 262 Small Prairie, which is really a very good runner, very good runner. Um, and we do have an addition to the Steam Loco fleet, which is that um, 062, it's an old mainline one. We are having a few problems with it, it's derailing. Um, I'm having a bit of a downer on second-hand Locos at the moment. I bought five in a row that have turned out to be not as described and no good. eBay at the moment is just overpriced rubbish, I'm afraid. And one of those was from one of the major retailers who really just didn't have the time to list it properly. Yes, you get your money back on it all, but it makes it very difficult, I think, for new people into the hobby as well, with so much overpriced rubbish on eBay. Yeah, there's the odd, there's the odd bargain out there, but it's one of the reasons at the moment I've been doing quite a bit of Engage, because it means I've been able to use the Kato Pocket Line stuff, which is new and cheap and very reliable. But for the moment, we're back to double O. I'm just glad I bought all my double O, um, if you like, in the last six or seven years when prices were sensible um, and the quality was okay. That's a very nice shot there of the finished part of the layout. Just waiting for the, where's the 262 though? It does take quite a long time to go around. Um, so we've got quite big plans in fact for in here. Doug's home for a few weeks from uni. Um, just gonna let the 262 run round. So hopefully you're not getting as much shaking when I'm filming is, is the the idea behind this gizmo it enables me to move around a bit quicker. There we go. And I know how much everybody likes steam trains. Oh, that's good. Just a little sweep shot. So the idea is now where I've got my great western coach parked there. You can see the idea. Another village and farm raised up. Uh, level crossing at the back there just in front of the chapel and then where there's now a gap there will be filled in and we've got a little country station with a passing loop um, so that's the sort of plans for that um, we've still got my rather I'm quite pleased with that foam board curved viaduct which takes the loop round We're having a few problems with a very old Jouf less than first radius track but there you go so the fiddle yard's up and running we're just trying something with a laptop there. So we're hoping to try and do a live, a live stream over the Christmas period. Let us know what you think. So we're just experimenting with some hardware and software to make that happen down here. Um, and then at the moment, I've got my HO layout stored up on the shelf. And I haven't as yet had chance, but I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like shunting something at eye level. Should be quite good fun. Um, so there we go. Still got a bit of a workbench. Um, hopefully get quite a bit of railway done. I am going to persevere with the engage, but we're also going to get on in here while Doug's down for a little while. 
and work on the double O, which I know is the main thing people like um, at the moment. Um, so there we go. Short video to say Happy Christmas. Hope you had a good one. Unfortunately, both me and my good lady wife have come down with this cold flu virus and have both actually been pretty poorly uh, over Christmas and Christmas Day, which is a bit of a shame because my wife puts a huge amount into Christmas. The house is all lovely decorated and she's been very poorly. So um, anyway, we still had a good Christmas. Um, I hope you all have too. And as I say, watch out and we'll do a bit of a shout out, but hoping to get a live stream out in the next week. So happy Christmas to everyone and thanks for watching.